All right, this is going to be quick and dirty, and I have to admit it's a painful video to make because anyone who knows me knows my uh, my opinion of Audacity. Um, it's a great program, and I know a lot of people use it because it's free. I just don't like the user interface. Um, but that aside, I just wanted to do something really quick here because I, I have been so excited today, more so than I've ever been with Audacity, so I figured I should at least try to capture this for posterity. Um, why am I so excited? Well, there's these AI things that are going around, new AI plugins, and um, I didn't really even test these other ones yet. The one I was most interested in is this uh, transcription tool, and I just want to do a, a real quick demo repeating what I just did here uh, on my own in my files here. So I've got a few voice things here. I'm going to take this one. It's a space-themed one. And I'm going to tell it to go ahead and transcribe. And what's amazing here is not only the speed, but the accuracy. Empty space and time is filled with these little bubbles of nothing, particles that live for a very brief time, like little fireflies, for brief moments. Okay, now keep in mind, this guy has an accent uh, that is, is very clear to hear for, I mean, I don't have a problem with it, but some people might. Um, and so it's handling that just great. Um, let's go ahead and do another one here uh, with our buddy Eisenhower from this famous speech. And again, I'm just using the defaults. Uh, what did I do wrong here? Let me close this one first. No, we don't need that. Let's just go ahead. I must have not started a new thing. All right. <clears throat> again, user interface to me is a little bit uh, crazy. All right, there we go. Only an alert and knowledgeable citizenry can compel the proper meshing of the huge industrial and military machinery of defense with our peaceful methods and goals. Okay, so there's background noise in there. It doesn't matter. It's got the voice, and that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and close that one. And we're going to come with something a little bit different. This is my friend Jason doing a voiceover for me. Um, he's got a great speaking voice, so I didn't expect it to have any problems here, and it doesn't, but we'll just do it so we can say hi to Jason. Um. Every man has reminiscences which he would not tell to everyone, but only to his friends. Okay, so a little hot there, the signal's hot, but you get the idea. It did a great job with this one. There's a blank near the end here. I'm not quite sure why it picked that up. There's, there's no errors there really or anything. Um, so let's go ahead and close this one. Um, and this one is another science one. Now these are all shorter clips. I have yet to try this on longer things, but I think it would just take more time, that's all. Just close your eyes and then open your eyes. And a world appears. I mean, this seems the most natural thing ever, right? No conscious effort is required. It, our eyes, our ears, all our senses just seem to be these, these windows onto an external reality that comes into view through our senses. So, uh, you know, British accent handles that fine. Um, I think he's British, maybe Australian, not sure. Um, and so let's go ahead and do one more example that I thought was really interesting. So uh, we'll close this one down and come in with this guy. So this is Yanis Varoufakis. Um, and I'm just going to let this go with the defaults and uh, see what happens here. i got to make sure I select all the audio. Whisper. Okay. Okay, so it's thinking. Okay. So what's interesting is, without me telling this anything, it has recognized that this guy might be Greek. And... It's trying to give me the transcription, the printed transcription, uh, in some other language other than English, um, which is very fascinating to me. Now I'm going to undo that 
and I'm going to go out back and, uh, and it just so happens that Yanis is Greek. So, um, when I go here, if I tell it the source language is actually English because he's speaking English, but he's got a very thick Greek accent and, um, not going to do any of the other settings cause I haven't explored that yet, but let's just see what happens. Now it doesn't get everything, but it did get some of it. And granted, he's got a thick accent. With fear of the system, with mistrust in the government, you bring in all these things together, and this is a great gift for fascists. Okay. I happen to like his accent. I can understand it most of the time just fine. Um, but this is struggling with it. But it's interesting that it knows something based on his accent, or it thinks it knows, and it's trying to do it. And, um, you know, we're, we're going to see something get better, I think, on that side of things. So that's my take. This is the most fun I've had with Audacity probably ever. Um, I know these tools are out there in other platforms, um, and I have been very skeptical of them over the last five years or so that I've played around with them and heard they were out there. But this is this is getting better and better and better, and now it's available to uh, everybody for free, uh, which I think is equally amazing. So thanks for watching.